Good morning. It's October the 31st, 2019. We left the head of the horse, the seahorse that makes Isabella Island and sailed for five hours. And this morning we took the ponga and landed here on Espumilla Beach on Santiago Island. but this is absolutely amazing. Today is Halloween, October the 31st. Last night after dinner, we left Isabella Island and sailed for five hours across the equator and we parked the boat off the coast of Santiago Island in Buccaneer Cove. Santiago Island is where Darwin landed in 1835 and he stayed there nine days collecting finches. Shopping at Puerto Ayora. Two giant tortoises copulating. I was wondering how it was Slow done. Business. I could be filming for hours. You could be. <laughs> and Find your bag. Let me mention a couple of plants. Try to find some flowers. The one that we like to put it in the yeah. 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 Raffaelito orchid. Local here, four dollars. Delicious. Much better than the ones we have in the fall. Unfortunately, it will be tomorrow. But in these days, I was reading a book as 
special one that we have on our small library or bibliotheque at the main lounge. And the, this book says some phrase special, a particular phrase that says no one, no other single in this world has done so much to put these islands on a map. And the author it was Michael Jackson, not a singer. <laughs> the author from England, England, and he was talking about for Charles Darwin. And the last, I think it was on Thursday, Michelle told me that she felt so blessed and lucky person for being here and for having this trip. And today, I feel really lucky and blessed to be in Ecuadorian to have this wonderful job in this magical place and with all amazing teamwork and crew and captain and also I have the honor to work with Rafael and Walter. So one more time thank you so much for choosing us, for choosing the grace and for this wonderful week. Cheers. 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 Salud. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> okay, there is a special task that we have in Ecuador. I'm going to show you how it works and then you are going to do it with me. Okay? <laughs> okay, it says, Arriba, abajo, al centro, una medianita. Otra medianita. Come on. <laughs> Sashimi. Oh, que bueno! We're having lobster for dinner tonight. Look at this lobster tail. Note that it is empty and it's in my tummy. <laughs> Last night we were at Santiago Island and we left there about 1.30 a.m. and sailed for five hours to here, Santa Cruz Island, docked outside of Puerto Ayora and it was extremely noisy and we woke up early even though our host Ariana forgot to make the wake-up call we woke up on our own we were looking for the woodpecker finch we did not find but we saw the um, Galapagos flycatcher and the majority of the passengers went back to the boat. I don't know why. I can't explain it. How happy I am with this. Get out of here. Some people drink, drank way too much on this tour, but other than that, it was fantastic. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's Saturday, November the 2nd, 2019. It's our last day in beautiful Galapagos Islands, Ecuador. Yesterday, after dinner, we left Santa Cruz and we sailed very rocky ride here to here, San Cristobal, our last stop, where we're going to be visiting the Interpretive Center and then boarding our plane from San Cristobal to Quito and then to the Los Estados Unidos. <laughs> Isabella, Bernardina, Santa Cruz. This map shows the 1835 route of the Beagle. Okay, we're leaving the Interpretive Center and headed to San Cristobal Airport now. This was my second trip to Galapagos. It wouldn't have been at the top of my list of places to go in the world, so I was a little reluctant, but it exceeded my expectations in every way. I specifically chose the Grace and Quasar because of the small ship, fewer people, 
better service and attention to detail. And just as a fluke, it turned out that I had the same guide as in 2011, Rafael, who's an excellent guide and uh, made the trip extra special and the crew was wonderful. And um, if I had to say my favorite thing, I would also say the snorkeling was so much fun. And I also enjoyed Fernandina Island with the black lava contrasting with the mangrove and and the blue-footed boobies so close to the boat. And I also enjoyed Darwin Bay, the little canal we walked in where we saw the diamond ray. Um, but all of it was fantastic and how wonderful that Ecuador has decided to preserve these beautiful islands and make them into a national park. That is a blessing from Ecuador for all of humanity. And uh, what a great place to be to see where Darwin made his um, first impressions about his theory of evolution and all his little finches. It was fantastic. So thank you for joining me, Sula, your host, on this wonderful adventure to Galapagos Islands. See you next time.